sure it's mine. Is it yours? Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of your dance contest, your King and Queen, the greatest stars of our Margate Theatre Choice, the Lord Paul number 15. Come on! I've got something to tell you. She said yes. This is the wonderful Sarah. She's coming on a date. And have you checked the type proof of this girl? You don't think it's like charity? <laughs> like she's only agreed because it's my 16th birthday. Yeah? She's a grief joke, Casey, because any girl would be mad enough to. And you take her dance, and that's what your dad did with me. Yeah, well, I don't think following in your dad's footsteps is exactly the right idea. Did you, Mum? He was a good man, your dad. He just made a few bad choices. Yeah, well, it's not hard to make the right choices, Mum. There's a right way and a wrong way. It's a pretty simple equation. Now, if you don't mind, I've got about ten minutes before Sarah arrives. So I hope you haven't invited anyone around. Now, would I do that for a nice one on his uh,
Lads. It's called the surprise harmony. It's the princess of condoms. Is it luminous? No. Colour? Normal? Flavour? No. Right. <laughs> Why is it called the surprise army? Because when you reach orgasm, it plays the power of love. <laughs> so, it's see Joe. Where's Joe? We can go anywhere. Somewhere very special, come on. <laughs> and a scumbag, Sarah, that's how. You know where I am going to end up, Joe Casey? I am going to go into law. Because despite what people will reckon at me, I think I'm a pretty good judge of character. This is a place! Simple 
equations like night bus day, a face in the music, or running away. Cause with our low there is no high. If nothing fell, there'd be no sky. Is it always so very clear? Shadows by which we recognize the light. We made it. We got it. Oh God. Are you all right? I can't believe you did that. I can't believe you ran away. I thought I knew you. I don't know you at all, do I? It's like, oh, we got cool with it. A policeman did that, Joe. You were 50 metres across the building site. Sarah, I just... Actually, maybe I'm not out for Maybe I'm not such a good judge of character. Sarah? Sarah!
So what would have happened that Camden Town night if Golden Boy Joe took the path that seemed right? Cause without love there is no hype, without love no stars, no sky, will this rise where that one fell? Is it so hard to tell? What means? Your Honour, I did break into the flat. But I didn't nick any stuff, you see, I was just trying to um, impress my girlfriend. It's quite funny, actually, my family built the uh, Irish estate. My client showed more fibre of handling herself in. With this, we plead leniency. Well, I will consider that plea, provided there are no further submissions. There is an additional submission in this case. I'm aware that Pressman Developments Limited are failing to secure any of their purchases for their Camden Keys development. Therefore, no matter what crime or however petty, they are urging local magistrates to hand down short custodial sentences. Custodial? Custodial? You mean like prison? <laughs> Golden Boy Joe Casey, you are. And I'm not the only girl in Camden who thinks that. I'm 16 now, Mum. This is the summer they always go on about. Seven would be mad to wait.
side the arm on the phone, the hands and love.
cool, son. Joe, Casey. Oh, Billy, Angie. <laughs> Hi. Look, Joe, I know this sounds crazy, but I really fancy some tartan trousers. Do you have any idea where I might be able to get some? Very funny. So, after the unique feat of getting turned down for a job by a dog, and by a pal, this is the job you told everyone you got in marketing? Girls. Wouldn't it be terrible if Sarah found out the tartan truth? <laughs> Don't tell her. Especially now she's at college. Don't tell her. Whole new social circle, mixing with all those high rollers. Like Callum, for instance. Ooh. <laughs> Who's father owns a distillery? Mind you, saying that, Billy, it does seem for the first time Joe Casey's got a real direction in life. Why? Look, I'm trying to earn a quick bit of cash so I can get something nice for Sarah's birthday. Hey, what? well, it's better to be good. I tell ya, she's used to better things now. Yeah, well, if university was so glamorous, then I'm sure she would be working weekends in a bar. Whatever. Hello, Joe Joe. How much you got to impress this girl then? It's not impressing, really. See, it's, um, it's more like a. Uh, uh, it's a wig. See that lovely little convert from Jackie over there? Oof. I think we're going to let you borrow it today. Is that yours? No. <laughs> what a difference two minutes would make. Vroom, vroom! Um, no thanks, Reese. Uh, like I said, I'm not getting into any of that. But you have given us an idea. This is going to be the best birthday present ever. You want a car, mate? We mean love cars. I know, Steve. But personally, I've always found cars easier. <laughs>
geography, guess what happens? We can get it on the verge and we can call someone out. Oh yeah, Larkin, a priest. This is such... <laughs> you know why I love this part? So, Joe Casey is so huge. It's an embarrassment. Listen, Joe, at Bristol University, we have a big, massive charity ball. And I've got two free tickets, so maybe we can go. Yeah, look, Sarah, I have to be honest with you. It's Joe. I have in marketing. It's um, standing on a street corner with a garden sale somewhere. Right. So, I think I'll be getting to see for you. It's okay. Seriously, I don't even know. I've got this job down on the back. Please, No. Look, Sarah, I don't need your charity, all right? <coughs>
slow down if you see don't slow me away Jojo just a little job I don't I'm gonna ask a convenient for you I do my own work slightly over the window no look I told you I'm not getting into any of that Myself fantasizing that I did the right thing that night and how great life would have turned out.
then why not? Eh? When's life ever shown me any mercy? If I'm gonna sell it, I might as well break it and take anything that's worth anything. That's how well I got Joby. But what I didn't expect to find was that photograph way back then. Times have I told you that he's no food? He was miraculously given his house. Look into my eyes, Mr. Pressman. Look at the street name. That's all the proof I'm going to give you, you bastard. Oh, that's great. Maybe you can ask the judge to look into your eyes, but you may find that he wants to see some deeds which don't exist. And no deeds means your house. Street name. Oh, no, no. <coughs> what if I save this house, Mum? What if I save Casey Street? Do you reckon the guy who saves his own house deserves to go home to it? <laughs>
Now, this is saying we're building one, it's council owned. So we can boot them out, but there is a slight spender in the works. Now, it's only one woman, and that means we can drag her out, but I don't want to get my hands on anything. Seeing as I've got you here, young lad, knows the area, you could probably speak to her in a language she can understand. By God, you probably know her. It's number 25 cases. Ring any bells? Joe. And if um, gender persuasion doesn't work, call Danny. Danny. He's our personal fine. He's who we call if we need a house to stop being lost. Right. Well, I won't need Danny, and I definitely will not need Fire. Great. Friday the 1st, the crowd's come up. And I shall do this by Friday the 1st. Pictures up in the east, guys. A new sun will rise. Pressman, Casey, developments. If that which is our Casey Street, then I'm you, can take it. Joe Casey, Casey Street. Joe. No. Things have got to fall for things to rise. 
do she want to move? No. Because Lola said it's her castle. Yeah? But it would stop feeling like a castle if certain people would stop treating it like one. Look, it's about safety, guys, for my mum, alright? Who spent her entire life worrying about the scum over the hard rise she thought we were going to try to break in. The big gates, okay? Lights in the steps, all this marble, all the stuff that looks like marble. <laughs> oh, chum. Hey, hey, Lewis, can I remind you who bought you that limousine? Joe. Not the driver. Come on, Emma. Oh, right. We're not. Oh. Actually, can we scab a lift into town? And these are supposed to be our friends. Honest to God, Sarah, I really think Pressman's going to take me on for this. Could you imagine Mum seeing that up on the cranes? Pressman Casey. Wow. Get your support, yes, eh? You earn support, Joe. You don't marry it.
Um, let me remind you, get your hands off my girl. <laughs> oh my god, it's Joe Casey. Don't hit me again. No, no, sorry about that. Hey. What are you doing here, Joe? Oh, well, I need this in his time. God, what are you going to do now? No, 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 it's not me. It's, it's this guy who's trying to keep my mum out of Casey Street, and well, well, uh, maybe I'll just better find another solicitor, yeah? Wait. Callum, you've got to go. Show me. No, Billy and Angie are coming up with the bride's dress. It's incredibly bad luck. Ah, fair enough. See you later, mate. <laughs> Wedding. Congratulations. You know, I'm sure I've been in the pool. Used to be the electric rhino sex shop. You know, I know Lewis was making a pun on the paper parrot up with it. Oh my god! That was you! That was you playing the parrot up in your back pocket!
so sorry, Mum. Graceman would have done all of this. You came back to me, Joe Casey. Not the house. You came back to me.
right things for the wrong reasons and will hurt you. You go to your early occasions, in case you were ever use your bills. Ready? It's take you. Yeah, I know. 